All right, hello, welcome to another Payday 2 build. This one is going to be quite good, and I'm calling this build the Brothers Grind build because you will be using the Brothers Grim uh, shotguns as well as the Grinder perk. So first, we're going to talk about the Grinder perk. Obviously, get this whole perk tree, perk deck, whatever you want to call it, maxed out. This is the one where if you do damage, uh, you heal. Unfortunately, you have to wear the two-piece suit or the lightweight ballistic vest with this, otherwise it doesn't work. So uh, get yourself the lightweight ballistic vest. Uh, and uh, some other cool things about this, you get uh, you get some penetration, or end of chance to pierce enemy armor at the end. Uh, you gain some health. Uh, again, you know, more piercing of enemy armor. And uh, we're going to work around that too a little bit later. So let's talk about these skills that you're going to build. First, uh, under the sharpshooter tree, ace out the stable shot and then put one in high value target. High value target, this is really only for those close range bulldozers or close range specials that you want to deal extra damage to by calling out their, their location. Uh, shotgunner tree pretty much max all of this out except for the top where you will put only one in overkill uh, you're dealing damage with shotguns so obviously you know bonus uh, accuracy uh, hip firing while moving more damage just shotguns uh, under the tank tree increase your armor recovery rate by 15% uh, just one uh, for that one ace out die hard uh, you obviously you know with die hard you want to increase your armor ballistic vest because you're using a lightweight one so that's gonna make you more t tanky uh, put one in shock and awe for you and your team just for more armor recovery get yourself the bullseye perk aced because uh, I just love this perk but you're really going to be getting a lot of headshots with these shotguns because when you sh fire, it's arcing up and you're going to be hitting their heads uh, more often uh, when you aim for them. And then lastly, Iron Man put one skill point in this. Uh, this is just increasing your, your armor value really good, uh, making your, your ballistic vest better. And then finally, for the ammo specialist tree, ace out your uh, scavenger perk. Ace out bullet storm, extra lead, and put one in fully loaded. Uh, again, bullet storm. This is a a wonderful perk. When you're low on ammo and you replenish with your ammo bag, which now you will be using. Uh, that's the carryable you're going to use, by the way. You'll uh, you'll basically be able to fire as much as you want for up to 15 seconds, which is really cool. Um, and then obviously you want more ammo bags, more ammo. So this is getting you obviously ammo, you know, total armor, ammo capacity is increased by 25. Steady grip, you get one point in that. Accuracy is uh, more important, I think, than stability with these shotguns, if you, if you had to pick. But stability is also important too. Uh, next, duck and cover, get yourself one point in that, and then one point in parkour. This is really just bonus movement speed. That's that's about it. One point in second win to get optical illusions and max out the professional and specialized killing. Uh, your shotguns are going to be suppressed and this is just going to increase their damage because they're suppressed and also give you bonus accuracy. And then under fugitive, uh, get yourself the akimbo perk aced out because the Brothers Grimm are akimbo weapons. They're shotgun akimbo weapons. So basically, you got yourself bonuses to akimbo suppressed and shotguns uh, because they are all of the above uh, in the meantime tank is going to help you with your armor recovery and your ballistic vest while the grinder perk is while you do damage you're gonna heal so this is worrying about your health this is worrying about your armor and everything else is worrying about um, your your weapons as far as in the ammo specialists go ammo is always good and this is giving you your ammo bag so that way you can use kind of like an ultimate ability of replenishing your ammo when it gets low enough with bullet storm and firing off as much as you want now let's talk about these guns themselves the things that we've been talking about this whole time let's let's i guess get into the details the brothers grim shotguns ammunition 
go with the AP slug. This reduces your total ammo, which uh, kind of sucks. However, because you're bringing the ammo bag, it's actually kind of a plus because that means that you have to replenish it more, which means you're you're uh, you're you're going to be able to use the uh, bullet storm perk more often. You know. Uh, okay, so barrel extension the shush suppressor is the best suppressor this one uh is it has bonuses to concealment but we're not going for concealment we're going for all out loudness even though they're suppressed it's it's like a it's like a combat build this one's good because it gives you bonus accuracy and stability as opposed to this one which just has bonus uh, stability the boost is going to be accuracy custom is going to be auto fire foregrip forget about foregrip and then led combo for that bonus stability uh they added a new thing with lights now like laser colors and flashlights uh, I would advise anything that isn't red because red can confuse your teammates with sniper lasers. So be careful about that. Uh, and then Big Brother magazine for more ammo in your clip. Yeah, so that's about it for the Brothers Grimm shotguns. Uh, let's talk about your secondary weapon. I would go with the Goliath because, again, you have a shotgun build and this is a shotgun, so you might as well use a shotgun. Uh, let's. Mo this is going to be your long range shotgun, though. It's kind of like a sniper rifle. So get yourself flechette uh for your for your ammunition the barrel is going to be suppressed because again you have a bunch of perks with the suppress oh shit i'm sorry you're not going to have a suppressed barrel but the barrel extension is going to be the shush uh suppressor this again uh is just going to get you more bonuses to accuracy and stability as well as your perks which also increase damage and get you more accuracy with suppressed weapons your boost is going to be accuracy Gadget, again, this for stability, and then sight. Uh, you can go with anything. I just kind of like a reconnaissance sight because it's funny with a shotgun with a with a scope. Anyway, uh, melee weapon, something that does a lot of damage. In case you do run out of ammo, you're not really a melee build, though. So uh, you're not going to be doing too much with a melee weapon. As for throwable, this is up to you. I really like the throwing knives and the throwing axes just because you can get them back but if you're you know wanting to think ahead of if you're wanting to think ahead and plan for the the captains showing up maybe go with some dynamite or something that packs more power all right so here we are in the uh gun range or whatever you want to call it in the safe house sorry it's a little bit laggy i feel like every safe house is pretty laggy like regardless uh, so here's your brother's grim shotguns you got your laser you've got your perks and stuff like that um, you could see at the bottom right 54 on my mag and we're just gonna start firing so this is basically what it what it does now every single one of these shots is you know multiple pellets because they're shotguns so uh, if you unloaded your whole round into a somebody that does 2400 damage and this is your other gun close range all pellets hit does 624 damage and at long range all the way over here all pellets hit it still does 624 damage now that you have points invested in that uh, bullet storm perk when you place an ammo bag down and you replenish from it and you have low ammo you basically can fire an unlimited amount I'm sure you all know of this but um so yeah you can do that and fire off all your ammo this I think goes up to 15 seconds alright so that's a lot of damage that you can do now with this build difficulty wise uh, up to mayhem you can totally just walk around and fucking shoot people you, you'll heal when you shoot people when you get headshots you'll get armor uh, that'll keep you in the fight longer to shoot more people and heal so uh, it's pretty pretty decent build close range definitely these guns and uh, this one is really good for long range you can shoot snipers with this shotgun which is kind of hilarious that, like, it's so damn long range anyway Okay, so that basically wraps up the uh, the build itself. Feel free to customize it as much as you want. Uh, on harder difficulties, maybe put some points into Revenant. 
Uh, you can pretty much get rid of high value target, maybe some stability, sacrifice stability for uh, recuperation in the coming back, I guess. And uh, I think that'll basically wrap it up. So thanks for watching. Sorry I have fucking autism with my speaking. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Alright, that should just about do it. Good video. Ah!